Hey guys, uh, back for another video. Uh, first, <laughs> I want to apologize. I kind of look like a mess. I need a, I look like a werewolf. I need a shave. I need a haircut. But I'll be honest, I decided out of hell with it today. I didn't feel like it. So, anyway, uh, I had set out to pick up one. One Blu-ray. And uh, I'm sure you guys have run into this before where... Uh, you go to pick up the one, and you end up coming home with a cartload of stuff. So, uh, I was going to pick up this one Blu-ray and then save it, because i got some other stuff I, uh, I'm fixing to order in the next day or two. And then I was going to do kind of a big, uh, a big collection update in a few weeks. But since I ended up coming home with... A lot more than one, <laughs> I decided I'm going to do this impromptu collection update right now. Before I get rolling guys, this one will be a little bit unique coming from me. Um, because number one, there won't be any Italian films or any Giallo films, which is unheard of. Two, there's going to be a fair few slasher films. Uh, which is going to be a little different for me. And three, uh, I've actually seen a fair number of the movies I'm going to be showing, which I know is a little bit rare for me. So, uh, Without further ado, these all came from a local uh, place called The Exclusive Company. I've talked about it a number of times in my videos. So that's where this whole update's coming from, guys. Now I'm going to start with the four DVDs. These are all used. The Blu-rays were all new. And all these DVDs I got for $3. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm just going to rip right through it here. The first one is All Night Long, Volume 3, the final chapter. Uh, I have All Night Long, Volume 1. I do not have Part 2, but like I say, when this was there for $3, I thought, why not? I'll try and complete the series. The next one, guys, I'm going to probably be punched by somebody. I've seen this movie millions of times, literally. I mean, it's one of the movies I've watched the most out of any horror film in my life, but I never actually bought a copy of it, and I had uh, the collector's edition DVD of The Return of the Living Dead for $3, so I know there's a Blu-ray now, but for $3, that was a no-brainer for me. Uh, next one up again, three bucks is it. Um, you know, always enjoyed this growing up. I uh, actually thought it was legitimately scary for a made-for-TV type film. And so again, for $3, I couldn't pass it up. Now the last one, guys, I have not seen. But again, 3 bucks. It's Legend of Hell. It's the uh, new Olaf Ittenbach film. Uh, the German Splatter King, maybe, or... Um, this one, I guess, is more of an action-adventure kind of adventure story rather than a horror film. Um, but it's going to have its trademark gore, so I thought for three bucks, why not? Give it a go. Alright, guys, the next uh, three or four or something are going to be Scream Factory Blu-rays, so we're up to the Blu-ray portion, guys. And the first one is... Uh, Deadly Eyes. Um, the only uh, r deadly killer rap movie I have is Rat's Night of Terror uh, by Bruno Mattai, and I just did love that movie, and I've heard so many people talk about how this one is tons of fun and is right up there with uh, Rat's Night of Terror, so I decided, you know what, killer rats, it's fun, you know, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, Evil Speak, another one with uh, Clint Howard, I remember from my childhood, because I'm a child of the 80s after all. Uh, I kind of dicked around on the Code Red release, and so, you know, <laughs> now that it's out on Blu-ray, I thought, well, what the hell, you know, this was one that was a lot of fun, and uh, 
I've never seen it with the fully restored uh, gore and so on. It's literally been since the 80s since I saw this last, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. You know, another one, guys, from my childhood was Final Exam. It's been so long since I saw this that, uh, you know, I really couldn't tell you how a hell of a lot about it other than it's a slasher film, but uh, anyway, again, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, you know, I mean, it's, uh, I've been kind of itching for some 80s films, as you can see by this update, you know, I'm kind of been craving some of this kind of thing, so we're going to give the final exam a go. And the last one I got from Scream Factory was one I hadn't seen. That's the Final Terror, but I actually uh, uh, watched uh, Mr. Parker's review of this uh, recently. Well, it's not that recent of a review, but, you know, like I said, guys, I'm kind of just back on the channel and back in the swing of things, so. Uh, and this sounded really interesting, kind of like a just before dawn, people in the woods trying to survive with a killer coming after them, and it sounded interesting enough to uh, give it a shot, so that's the final terror. Alright, the next one up, guys, is a lot of people would claim, and uh, you could make a very good case for it, that uh, Psycho is Alfred Hitchcock's uh, all-time best movie. But to be honest, the one I've watched the most, and the one I enjoy the most out of all of his films, is Rear Window. And uh, seeing that they had this on Blu-ray, I didn't hesitate for a millisecond to snatch, uh, snatch this up, rather. So... You know, really great voyeuristic type movie. The way it was shot and everything is very unique. I still haven't really seen a movie quite like Rear Window. Uh, but I'll be watching this very soon again. I've seen this many times. This to me is an absolute masterpiece. So that's Rear Window, guys. Um, and this was the whole emphasis for this whole video, guys. I... Uh, I had, I should do a little backstory. I had the original Anchor Bay DVD. I borrowed it to a friend. And they lost it. I was kind of out. Okay, so then I ended up buying the Anchor Bay 10 for this movie. Borrowed it to a different friend. You know, the moral of the story, I guess I gotta quit borrowing my stuff out. It also got lost, and I never got it back. So even though it's one of my all-time favorite horror films, and to me one of the, you know, I mean just the epitome, you know, it'd probably be my number six horror film of all time. I haven't had a copy of it for probably seven or eight years. Because the last two times I bought it, I borrowed it and it never got returned. But I finally decided this was worthy of giving it a third shot, and that's the Dark Sky Films uh, 40th Anniversary Blu-ray, uh, I think it's a Blu-ray and DVD uh, combo, I believe, and it's by Dark Sky Films. I think there's a steel book version of this as well. I didn't get that. It's a digi book. It kind of has a slide out sort of thing. Guys, and then it just kind of oops, opens up. It's got some terrific artwork in it. It's not going to be easy to see. And then you got the two DVDs and the two Blu-rays. You know, so just chock full of special features and stuff, guys. So it's it's really something else. Um. So obviously, it goes without saying, I'm. Super stoked about checking out, uh, you know, checking the transfer out and watching some of these special features and so on, guys. But uh, anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this uh, this little update, guys. So anybody who stops by to check it out, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk with you later.